Are you a new or soon to be parent looking for ideas on different kinds of parenting methods? Are you an experienced parent feeling like your current parenting methods just aren't working? Or are you curious about the way that you were parented as a child and how it has affected you throughout your life? Then this video is for you. In this video, we will be discussing authoritarian, authoritative, permissive, and uninvolved parenting styles, plus one new bonus parenting style that is currently being studied in the U.S. What's this new style, you ask? You'll just have to keep on watching to find out. Parenting style number one, authoritarian. Authoritarian parents are often found saying things like, because I said so. They believe in punishments over discipline. What's the difference? Punishment is to make a child feel sorry for their actions. Discipline is to teach a child to make better choices. Authoritarian parents are not interested in negotiating with their children or taking their opinions into consideration. They are also found to enforce consequences rather than letting them happen naturally. For example, say your child ditches school with their friends. An authoritarian parent might take their phone away or not allow them to hang out with those friends for a certain period of time, rather than allowing the natural consequences to happen, such as falling behind in school, or the school giving their own forms of discipline, such as detention, suspension, or even expulsion, considering how many times the child has done something like this before. Now, how does this affect the children throughout their life? Children raised with parents using the authoritarian method are at higher risk for developing self-esteem issues due to their opinions having never been valued. Children become angry and or aggressive in feelings towards themselves and their parents. These children are more likely to become good at lying due to their fear of punishment and enforced consequences. Parenting style number two is permissive parenting. Permissive parents set rules while rarely enforcing them. They typically believe that their children will learn best if they step back and allow them to figure everything out on their own. They'll often only step in when there is a serious problem. Permissive parents are extremely forgiving. You will often hear them saying things like, kids will be kids. They will often play more of a friend role as opposed to a parent, and they'll encourage their kids to talk to them about their problems, but they'll rarely discourage bad behavior. They might occasionally give their kids a consequence, but they're often known to back out of the consequence if a child pleads and begs and promises to be good. Now, how are children who were raised with permissive parents affected long term? These children are more likely to grow up struggling academically. They are also known to not respect rules or authority and exhibit a lot of behavioral problems. These children are at a higher risk for obesity, dental problems, and sleep problems because permissive parents struggle to limit unhealthy food intake, regular exercise, or proper sleep habits. Even things like brushing and flossing your teeth on a regular basis. Parenting style number three is uninvolved parenting. Uninvolved parents rarely know where their children are or who they are hanging around with. They don't ask about their child's day or if they have any homework, and they don't spend time with their children hardly ever. Uninvolved parents tend to expect their children to raise themselves. They do not devote much time into meeting the children's basic needs. They might even unintentionally be neglectful. This is often seen in parents who have mental health problems or even substance abuse issues. More often than not, uninvolved parents are simply overwhelmed with things like paying the bills, working, and managing a household, and all the other things that come with being an adult and a parent in today's world. Now, how are children with uninvolved parents affected long term? These children are more likely to develop low self-esteem, poor performance in school, and have reported low levels of happiness. Parenting style number four is authoritative parenting. This is the method that I strive to use every day with my own children. For those of you who are new, I have a three-year-old daughter with autism and I have a two-year-old son. I will be using the word I me, we, <laughs> just because this is the method that I use and it feels most comfortable. So 
With an authoritative parenting method, I strive to build and maintain relationships with my children. I explain why we have certain rules or why we do things a specific way. We definitely have limits and we enforce rules. We still take our children's feelings and opinions into consideration. We validate our children's feelings and emotions while also making it clear that adults are ultimately in charge. We invest time and energy into avoiding behavioral problems before they start. We also praise our children very often for the things that they are doing right and the things that are pleasing to us as parents. How are children who are raised with authoritative parenting methods affected long-term? They are more likely to become responsible adults who feel comfortable self-advocating and expressing their opinions and emotions. They tend to be happier and more successful. Child development professionals have studied authoritative parenting methods and have suggested that parents use this method when raising their children. With that being said, before I get into the fifth bonus parenting method that is currently being studied in the US, I just wanna take a minute to say, we should never feel guilty or shameful for the way that we choose to parent our children. Some days we may exhibit behaviors from other parenting methods that we don't agree with, and that's okay. The important thing is that we acknowledge it happened and apologize and explain to our children why we felt we needed to react in that way in that specific moment. If you fear that you're not doing a good job as a parent, just the fact that you desire to be a good parent and try to be better every day, heck, every hour sometimes, that makes you a wonderful parent. That's what truly matters. I encourage you to like this video and subscribe if you want to learn more about how I use authoritative parenting methods in my home. Now onto the bonus parenting method number five, helicopter parenting. Parents using the helicopter method are known to have fear that their children will get hurt and do everything in their power to keep them away from anything that could hurt them. Now, of course, this sounds like something that all of us do. We want to protect our children. Helicopter parents take this to an extreme level where they don't allow their children to do anything within reason. They'll typically do everything for their child so that they cannot fail or get upset. They often give them gifts, food, or toys to make them feel better when they are sad. A helicopter parent feels that everyone is a winner, whether the children put in any effort or not. They fill their child's world with love, kindness, butterflies, and unicorns in fear of them experiencing hate, cruelty, dreary skies, and rain. How are children who are raised under the helicopter method affected throughout their lives? They typically become sore losers, which is a person who often becomes very upset when they lose a game or a contest. They lack motivation. They lack motivation to think for themselves. They're indecisive, unmotivated, and extremely dependent on others. If you would like me to expand on any of these parenting methods, leave a comment below and I will do that. Thanks so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!